Prince William and Kate Middleton board a boat for much needed private time as their lawyers take action. Hey there, I'm Lauren Bradshaw and we're bringing you the details on William and Kate's romantic getaway and the latest on the photo scandal which is continuing to get attention in this pop sugar rush. William and Kate spent another day in the Solomon Islands this morning meeting with locals on behalf of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Kate chose a cheery yellow dress to visit a youth center and a memorial before later changing clothes for a trip with William to the island of Tavani Pupu. The couple is staying at a resort there, and for more on that, we have Trey Sugar editor Andy Scudder. Hey, Annie. Hi, Lauren. So tell us about this resort that they're going to be staying at. Well, Tavani Pupu was once a coconut plantation, but now it's a beautiful private island resort surrounded by a lagoon. Mm -hmm. Will and Kate are reportedly sleeping in a bungalow that goes for over $1,000 a night, <laughs> but it's very secluded and very romantic, which is just what they need right now. All right. I mean, completely understandable that they want to get away from the media a little bit at this point. What is the latest on the photo? scandal. Originally it was just the French tabloid Closer that published the topless photos of Kate vacationing with Prince William, mm -hmm. but now an Italian publication and an Irish publication have decided to run the photos as well. Now the palace has filed a criminal complaint mm -hmm. and lawyers today will be in a Paris courtroom asking for an injunction against Closer. Okay. Closer for its part has removed the images from its website, but the palace would like the issue to be taken off newsstands as well. Okay, well how are, how are William and Kate reacting to all this? Because as we've seen in these photos of them in the Solomon Islands, they actually look pretty happy considering everything that's going on. Definitely. So initially they were understandably very angry, mm -hmm. but now a source tells People Magazine that they're not as angry and they're really just trying to enjoy their trip, which continues tomorrow with a visit to the island of Tuvalu before they head back to England. Okay, well thanks Amy for filling us in on all that. No problem. And I'm Lauren Bradshaw. Keep checking back to Pop Sugar TV for more news on the Royals and we'll see you next time on Pop Sugar Rush.